guys and welcome back if you are new here hello my name is Sarah and I like to make YouTube videos so for today's video I am going to be doing my January ipsy bag and I am going to be doing it a little bit different than I normally do so usually I keep it in the little pink packaging that it comes in the mail and it's all a surprise and then I just show you guys what I got you get my first impression but I thought this time around and I might keep doing it for the rest of my subscription this year is I will take a peek beforehand and then test the products out on camera if possible of course so that is what I'm doing today I have already opened the bag taken a look at what's inside just so I can see what parts of my makeup to not do so that I can do them for you guys here on camera all right so of course the first thing you're going to get in your ipsy bag is the card the card for january is ipsy metropolis the two styles that i do know of just by looking at the card you have karen and then way in the back there you have madison the other two i don't really know who they are but that's what you get all right so for the bag this month you do get this little bag right here and this one is like this really cool metallic blue and it has some holes in it so that you can see the silver lining peeking through and then opening it up I am going to start in sort of the order of things I will be doing my makeup in so the first thing I have here is the Bahama Mama bronzer from the bomb this is of course like a really really tiny little sample so it's pretty much what I would consider eyeshadow size so I am actually going to use it not only for my bronzer today but I'm also going to try it out as an eyeshadow. Alright so here you have it. My face is fully bronzed. It is actually very matte so I did try to contour my nose a little bit with it. It seems to work out very well in that case and my only issue is that the pan is a little bit small for a bronzer given the fact that normally the brushes that I use to bronze my face are rather large. But I can't really complain seeming as it is obviously going to be sample size and it is only $10 a month. So in conjunction with the bronzer that I will be using for my eyeshadow next, I also have the Naked Cosmetics Loose Pigment in Desert Sunset. And this is actually so pretty looking. It's very like, I don't know, would you say a little bit of a champagne color. It's very very shiny and looks like it could be very very metallic if I attempted to use it with a setting spray which I think that I will. My only little issue with this is that being a loose pigment it can get very messy and it does not have a sifter. So I think what I am going to do is I'm going to put the bronzer sort of in my crease as a sort of transition shade and then go ahead with the loose pigment all over the lid and that will be my eyeshadow look for today. Okay, so not only does the bronzer work well as a bronzer contour, it also works very well as an eyeshadow and it looks very, very nice with the loose pigment. So I am pleased to report to you guys that the loose pigment is stunning and not only is it great just applied on its own with a brush, it is even better in my opinion if you add some setting spray to the product before applying it to the lid. It makes it so much more metallic and just shiny and gorgeous and I am so excited that I have two products products in my Ipsy bag this month that I can use together to create a very simple, quick and easy but gorgeous eyeshadow look. So I'm pretty excited about that. Alright, so one of the next products that I did get in my bag this month is a blush and this is from Manicadar Beauty. This is the Paradise Blush and it is like this really pretty kind of corally shade. It is very shimmery as well so I'm pretty excited to put it on my face. Thank you. 
All right, so the blush is so pigmented, you definitely do have to knock off some excess before you apply it to the cheeks, but I love it. It's beautiful. I definitely might have put on too much, but honestly, I love blush, so it doesn't really bother me. I am very, very excited about this, and the pan size is super, super large, especially given the fact that it is a sample, so I'm pretty excited about that one. Too. All right, you guys, I'm thinking I might want to live on the edge a little bit before I get to these last two products. I kind of want to try this loose pigment as a highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and try that now and let you guys know how that works. Alright you guys, so I am kind of pleased to report that it does, for my particular skin tone, work as a highlight. Crazy, right? I was somehow able to complete a lot of my makeup with just these three items in my Ipsy bag. That is so cool. I will say though that I probably won't be using it again as a highlight because it does really accentuate the texture of my skin, which I know some pretty crazy highlighters can do. So I'll be probably keeping this as an eyeshadow, but either way, gorgeous, gorgeous pigment. All right, so we have two products left, and unfortunately they are not makeup products, so I cannot try them out for you guys on camera. The first one is from Pure Lease, and this is a Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. So it says that it is a 10 minute facial, and then it gently resurfaces, detoxifies, brightens, tightens, and smooths, and it's for all skin types. So from what I can tell, you just apply this to the skin after you have cleansed it and you leave it on for 10 minutes. And then it says when you're removing it to sort of go in circular motion. So not only are you removing it, but you're exfoliating your skin as well. Now, I personally have not had very good luck with mud masks in the past, but it could definitely have just been the ones that I have used, and this could very well be different and work great. So I am very excited to try this out. I will probably actually do it tonight so I might let you guys know on like social media if you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter how I like it so I'm actually pretty excited about this this is a pretty good sample size I think for a mask usually I find sizes like this I can get at least two to three uses out of it so I am very excited to use this all right so last but not least you guys I did get a nail polish and it is from Ciate London and this is actually what looks like to be full size this is huge which is so exciting normally I actually do find you get full size nail polishes in your ipsy bag at least I have gotten full size polishes before which is always just so exciting to get something full sized even if it is a nail polish now unfortunately this is a top coat so I cannot show you guys the sort of color that it would look like on the nails I imagine it will just make them very shiny which is exciting either way usually I definitely think that it is more important the quality of your top coat than it is the quality of your color that you're putting underneath the top coat because usually it's the top coat that helps your manicure last the longest at least that's what I've experienced so I am very excited to try this out to see if it makes any of my nail polishes last a lot longer and chip a whole lot less right now my favorite if you guys are curious is from Orly it's just their regular top coat I find no matter what polish I put this on top of it definitely makes my manicure last a whole lot longer and chip a whole lot less so I am super excited to try this out okay you guys so that is it for my ipsy bag for January let me know down below if you prefer this method of me doing my unboxing where I kind of try everything on on camera or if you guys like it to be more of a surprise and we can kind of have our first impressions together and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know down below also what you guys got in your January ipsy bags or even what you got in any of your monthly subscription boxes if you are subscribed to anything else I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you guys next week bye